today's question is from our buddy Cyrus and he's saying what is the best technique the wild or the way back to bed or a combination of both of these techniques and firstly let's just appreciate this lighting this is the new lighting softbox I've been using um, in a few of my videos not all of them and also bear in mind this background this will improve so this little cardboard thing here will be like a collage of pictures and places I want to go these drones will be more neatly arranged and I'll do something above here as well uh, and also I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the door because that's kind of a bit of a bad aspect of my background but anyway so anyway in this video wild versus wake back to bed now before I can really compare these you have to understand the differences so wild and this will be quick I promise wild is wake induced lucid dream which is involving keeping your mind awake while your body falls asleep awake back to bed is doing exactly that but doing it at a certain time so with awake back to bed you set your alarm to go off after six hours of your regular sleep and you're aiming to target your REM sleep, your rapid eye movement sleep, which happens usually about three, between three and five a.m. in the morning, uh, all the way up until eight a.m., depending on your sleep cycles and obviously when you wake up. So we can conclude then that wake back to bed is essentially wild, but done at a certain time. So Cyrus is asking like, which one's most efficient? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. The truth is the wake back to bed is the most reliable simply because you're targeting your REM sleep which was, is when you're most likely to lucid dream and you're using the wild during your REM sleep. So technically you're already using both of the techniques when you use the wake back to bed. It's just going to be more effective when you do it at that time because you're targeting your REM sleep. Now that's the most effective. However, that is not the one I would advise to use all the time simply because simply because I've, I've spoken about this before, like the wake back to bed technique does involve interrupting your sleep. So you're gonna be, the way it works is obviously you set an alarm to cut your sleep in half and interrupt your sleep and then you go back to sleep and, and then hope that you'll lose a dream when you go back to sleep. But by doing that, because you're interrupting your sleep, it's like, I don't know, me personally, I don't like interrupting my sleep in that way. I find that if I do that, I'll feel tired the next day, you know, the next morning, because I have cut my sleep in half. I don't feel like I've had as good of a night's rest, if that makes sense. I'm sure others are the same as well. Um, it's just not a long-term solution for lucid dreaming. Like, it, it's good and it works, it's reliable. But compared to other more natural methods, like compared to the, the, the dialed or the mild, or even just like spontaneous lucid dreams using reality checks and awareness and meditation and stuff like that, I feel like they're most effective over a long term. You can't do a wake back to bed every single night. What will happen is you'll interrupt your sleep and you'll just feel terrible. You'll feel tired the next day, you won't want to do it, you won't want to carry on learning, and the whole thing is just going to fall apart. So yeah, to answer the original question, Cyrus, they're pretty much the same technique, wild and wake back to bed. The only difference is that the wake back to bed is, a, is done at a certain time in the morning. So it's like you wake up and then go back to sleep, as opposed to just doing the wild when you first go to sleep in the evening. What is your favourite technique by the way guys? I'd really like to know, leave a comment letting me know and I'll pick the best or most creative comment and read it out tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.